Hi, it's Phoenix Genesis. Good morning, everyone. Mm, a nice, refreshing uh, rest. I feel very energized. I uh, got my coffee here. So what day are we on in my Netherlands survival world with the city texture pack? Um, day 1062 in the wild um, since I started playing with the wild update. So here we go. And the world is, uh, like I've said before, um, check out my mini tour, uh, like, subscribe. we got more content going. Like I said before, this is uh, seven and a half, over seven and a half years now. Started February 2nd, 2015. And there we are. I've explored way more than this, but this is the map that I'm going to do now. I'm going to have to do one on the floor and put glass over it and expand it. So let's go upstairs. I'm so excited. You know what? We can go out this way. Um, yeah, my massive storage. I'm still moving things. It's going to take forever um, but I have something new I built big surprise it's the um, clay generator and I have this is the second version in this world I think I made it better and I want I'm leaving the other one where it is where I first built it because I needed to build something across from a, a portal that was a very important po portal to the nether and I, I don't know it was just a perfect place but then I wanted one close to the house so I built one and I kind of uh, made it better it took about five hours to do this um, even though I kind of had the original design of the other one to kind of go off because I had to terraform the mountain I had to put in the pass um, you know if you're playing this would be a big survival server eventually um, you know you're going to in survival you're going to want to be able to walk natural paths and just not like jump over anything so um, it had to integrate into a mountain it has the um, downstairs which is kind of the motor of the uh clay engine and then the top part where it's being manufactured and it had to integrate up into my um, sheep farm and yay the sheep are uh, named now and I, I had to redo the video the, anyway the buddy escaped I don't know where that went there was a buddy there but anyway let's go um, go up here so uh, I wanted to try to keep each of the buildings unique but also kind of stay with kind of the theme I'm doing with uh, scrounging uh, parts in the uh, in the end, so we have the purpar blocks um, integrated nicely with the poor man's quartz, which is the polished diorite and the diorite. And uh, the here the brick, of course, because the clay eventually makes brick and also the dripstone, which is part of the manu materials necessary for the manufacturing process. And some nice, um, I love the mangrove wood, little buttons there, just to give it a little more detail. And originally I had all sides up and I went down here and dug all this out and realized I was trapped. So I had to look lower this side make a little fence around it uh, I might do some more things too to the mountain and you know around here but right now it's what it is sometimes I'll, I'll build something and then later on you know days weeks months hours later I see how I can improve it so again Minecraft is an ongoing process you're always going to be um, fixing things and see down here you can see kind of the heart of my um, operation so let's go take a peek before we go down there let's see what it looks like from the bottom also I love these plants and I finally realized I can um, rotate them just like the uh, the uh, what's it called the um, the nice patterned uh, terracotta uh, you can actually if I go this way they you know and lay it this way it points that way so that's kind of cool I like how it's kind of pointing um, in opposite directions and that's pointing that way I did line it up yeah and you know you jump on these little guys the big drip stones that go down anyway let's go and take a peek down here and for something like this I just like these windows because I get a nice view especially if I'm not in peaceful mode in survival I, I don't want to just go out here and get killed by something or have this blown up uh, eventually I'm going to probably extend one of those hallways down in the storage because I know one goes all the way out to the horse stable there should be a hallway that I can extend so I can just go underneath um, break out one of these and make it go down in there so everything's connected um, anyway let's go down here um, I ended up lowering this from my original design because the uh, drip stones were were hitting my head now uh, when you have let's see when they're on the ceiling it would be a stalactite C for ceiling and stalagmite C, uh, G for ground so these are technically stalagmites um, but they're just called dripstone in Minecraft so what you're going to need is solid dripstone which you get from dripstone cave I have actually an entire road that goes through one so I call it dripstone road in, in this world I'm actually starting to name my road so anyway I got the dripstone there then I got um, the little ones and 
And what you're going to do, as you saw in my um, thousand day mini tour and go back and watch that if you haven't, um, when you put these, if you put lava uh, above it, you're going to drip lava and, and regularly it drips water. So if you put the clay on top, the well, we'll show you how you make the clay. The blocks go on top and it will make the clay. So we'll get up there in a minute. I just want to show you. So, you know, make sure you light this up with something, you know, have a little design in the wall. I kept with the dripstone because, again, it's what's producing it. I just, I just look so nice in this pack. So anyway, uh, now here you're going to need a way to get your water. So, of course, it's dripping and it can fill up these cauldrons. Um, you could just make an infinite well if you want because the cauldrons do need to be uh, filled up. So um, what I made sure to do is to make sure also if you don't have an infinite well nearby, you, you're building this near some kind of water source so you can um, fill up those bottles. Um, it only works with bottles. It won't work with a bucket. So I already have the bottles pre-filled from the cauldrons um, and refilled my cauldron. So let's go take a look at um, how this works and also then I keep little supplies in here this is the shulker that produces different things and repair and this is just kind of you know more repair and some tools but I have all my tools in my inventory so let's go up here and take a look so what we're going to go do here is we're going to get dirt and dirt comes from anywhere i mean you know if you're building roads at y67 through the new cliffs and caves you're going to get plenty of dirt just digging through dirt and stone and you know you, you can get dirt from the you know bottom of rivers you can get dirt from uh you know those ugly mountains before cliffs and caves that just look like dirt piles i mean dirt is a plentiful um down in mines caves everywhere so anyway you're gonna and before i would always just take the dirt and terraform it again get rid of it because i didn't want um you know chest full of dirt but now it has a purpose and so anyway you're gonna put the dirt down and now the dirt needs to be watered to make mud so there's two steps you can make mud and you know but you gotta pick it up quick because this will go fast or you can make water now i'm gonna show you hopefully i won't like like you know maybe i should actually um i don't want the water to flow out here there we go so um if you put this down it's not gonna make mud all it's gonna do is do that oh my god just <laughs> it's absorbed right in there so um yeah it's not going to make mud so you do need a water bottle to do this so that was kind of interesting so um i'm gonna have to dry that out in a furnace or just run in the nether and dry it quickly either way works out so we're gonna gather that up again so we're get ready to go let's get that out of my inventory now and let's get my two little shovels and let's get a bunch of water bottles ready here now, what I want to show you real quick is, um, let's do two of these. So you see how this um, makes mud now, one water bottle per block. So if I take a silk touch, oops, I didn't mean to do both with the silk touch. Um, let me put that one down again. Um, so if I use a silk touch, it'll pick up, and here's a non-silk touch. So you can pick up mud with both of those. So let's go back, and actually, since I already made it, I don't want to remake it, so we'll just put that down there again. So now we're going to go and make the rest of the mud, and like I said, if you pick it up quickly, either shovel works, uh, silk touch or non-silk touch. Um, always like efficiency. It's just faster, of course, mending. Um, you can see what I have on my shovels. Um, silk touch, I'm breaking, mending, and efficiency, and unbreaking efficiency and mending. So those are my netherite shovels. I mean, you really don't need netherite for a shovel, but uh, why not, right? <laughs> you know? Gotta have the latest and greatest. So there we go. Oh, I need more water. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna run down while that's cooking and uh, go get some more water. Okay, here we go. So each uh, cauldron for uh, you guys that are new to Minecraft, each cauldron is going to give you three water bottles. Here we go. I'll just fill it all up later. And if you really want to make this even more multi-purpose, I guess it doesn't matter. You could actually um, dye the water if you want to, you know, dye some stuff and then later on use the dyed water. I guess that would work. Is I could experiment with that. Anyway, here we go. See, it's already making the nice um, clay. So we're just going to finish this because I want you to see the whole process of how long it takes. 
Yeah, maybe we could time it in my next one so we can see exactly. Um, I'll have it all ready with the dirt in. We'll time and see how long it actually takes. Again, everything also is based on your tick speed, and I keep this world in whatever the default tick speed is. So that's 10-minute days of Minecraft. I still don't have enough water. How many do I need? One, two, three, four, four more. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Of course, it's already getting dark. It's already 10 minutes. Um, there we go. And my other one that's kind of um, far away, I'm trying to put it on that one. Uh, I have a bed there so I can sleep, but I don't have a bed here. Um, Okay, there we go. Um, and yeah, we might as well sleep now. So let's go up here. I should I should have a bed he over here. So let's go ahead and sleep. Oh, the bunny's gone. I don't need to keep that locked up. And the sheep are all penned in. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Look at my ice spikes biome over there. My horsey stables. Okay, here we go. There we go. So we're, what, on day 1,063 now. Wow. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Here we go. Let's go down. Let's go down my beautiful compound. And let's see how long this is going to take now. Come on. Come on. You know what? While this is uh, doing its thing, might as well go fill my water bottles up, right? Because I want to show you um, how to get the, the clay out, the final step. So, yeah, we're going to fill up the water bottles. So I have them ready for next time. Yes, I definitely want to start building with the brick. I'm so excited. I mean, like I said, the brick is so nice. The, the, the stone is so nice in the city texture pack. I mean, I love the default pack. Of course, I've built uh, two other survival worlds, one in my super flat and one in my, my Phoenix Genesis. But, um, but I also love the city texture pack. It's just so fun to build in different um, blocks. And like I said, there's so many beautiful blocks in this texture pack. Okay. Should be almost done, so we're just gonna put this back real quick. See, oops, my bad. There we go. You know what? Have some water bottles. That sponge is gonna have to be dried out, so we'll keep that one in there. Um, what else are we gonna? Come on, here we go. See, and like I said, I can peek in my little window. It looks like, it, see, it looks like it's still making um, some more right there. It's still got that mud one right there and that mud one right there. And yeah, it's got like at least three up there. So we're just going to wait. Come on. There we go. You know, I, I'm so stupid. I could actually fill this. Okay, I'm an idiot. I could fill it up with a bucket. It's way faster. I've just been in bottle mode right now, so there we go. Much faster, yeah. I might save the water bottles for later. It's like stupid me. Yeah, I definitely need to add like 16 buckets so I can fill these up. Um, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I need eight uh, water buckets so I can fill that up very quickly. All right, let me just grab. Did I just put that in there? Yeah, duh. Okay, I definitely need more coffee. Like, I started making the video without drinking all my coffee this morning. There we go. Perfect. Let's see how everything's generating. Oh, it's still going. Come on, faster, faster. Okay, we're going to go put this back down again. There we go. And we got two more to go. And we're done.
And a lot of times in, in Minecraft survival, you're only going to, um, you know, fix something or expand mm -hmm. it or tweak it however you want to um, improve it by actually using it. Repetition, repetition. And after a certain point, you're like, okay, I'm tired of walking this far. I'm tired of having to scrounge to find this material. Like, you know, with organizing my storage, you know, you learn how to you know, organize something or why do I have this over here when like my bunnies, I wanted to see my bunnies. My bunnies were kind of over, uh, my bunny house was over here. I'm waiting for that to grow. I'm just gonna, I don't wanna go too far from it. And I never got to see the bunnies and it was such a nice house. So I'm like, might as well move it closer where I'm gonna actually like see the bunnies more often and interact with the bunnies or otherwise I'm just imprisoning bunnies. So Again, everything you start thinking about efficiency in your world, you know, what you need, how it's going to make your play more fun. And again, it's it's your play style and you're going to want to make it, cater it to what you enjoy. You know what? I'm going to keep those buckets filled up too. I don't want empty buckets. It should be done at this point, I'm hoping. I remember in my other one, it went pretty, it went pretty fast. Now remember, I just built this, so um, I haven't really, you know, this is a new feature, and I just built it, and I really haven't been using it to this point, so that's why I'm excited to start using it. Okay, here we are. Oh, uh, it's still, come on, four more, four more pieces. Grow, 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 convert, convert. I feel it's like one of those, remember when you first had Pokemon and your Pokemon evolved and you're like, oh my God, what happened? It evolved. And it's like, this is like, I'm waiting. Hurry up, evolve mud into clay, please. Hurry up, hurry up. Almost, almost, come on, come on. Where are we? Come on, yeah, we're midday now. Come on, hurry up and... uh. I remember I didn't do it all at once, so it probably would have been converted by this point had I all done it at once. Come on, hurry up. Come on, last four pieces. We know you can do it. Convert. Oh, I wish I had a fur. You know what? That's the next thing I'm building over in this section probably um, while we're waiting for that to grow. I'm, I'm going to have a se I need a blacksmith anyway, villager. And I think I'm going to, yeah, build a blacksmith and, and, and get a villager with his workstation. Keep putting it down until he decides he must be a blacksmith. There's no choice. There's no freedom of jobs. You are going to do what I tell you to do or you don't work for me so in my compound. So yeah, maybe, I don't know where I'm gonna put the blacksmith. There's a lot of room here too. I don't know what I'm gonna put here. Maybe I'll put like some bigger wheat fields right here because the one I have is kind of de decorative and pretty small. Maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do with this over here. Or maybe even move this, move the cows over and, and have room for something else here. I try to have the, the noisy animals far away from the house. I remember at the beginning, my first compound and my super flat survival, <laughs> when I had the, all the animals like literally in my house in a room and they're all like, boo. And it was like, that was so ridiculous. So yeah, I try to keep them like far away. Plus in real life, the, the smell of the animals. I grew up on a farm, you know, on animals next to your house, except for like dogs, cats, you know, like clean pets. Anyway, this should be done like already. Come on already. Uh, what three more okay so um i don't think i want to wait anymore you get the idea so what i want to show you now is is actually now when it's done harvesting this so you have two choices you can either use your silk touch shovel or you can use your efficiency non-silk touch shovel if you're just using the regular efficiency shovel you're just going to get clay and this the clay is used to make um you know you can bake for your clay pots and here the regular silk touch is to pick up the clay so you can start you know working with it clay is so great for other things you don't even have to convert it to bricks it's just good to have and again um you can pick up your mud too okay you didn't you didn't convert so i'm just you're just going i'm going to start from scratch again because i want to time this for no, the next video so there it is i uh, hope you enjoyed that and i hope you're inspired to um make a you know infinite clay generator in your world i love it and infinite cobblestone generators i love you know mob spawners um 
modified i had that giant clock tower check that video out too um just love having all this stuff so anyway hope you enjoyed that and um what do i want to end right here let's um anyway we'll just end it yeah like right there nice shot anyway uh see you in the next video bye bye